Hey, good morning on day 26. Day 24 and 25 were zero days. And this is Damascus. This is the park we came in on. We came off the trail. And we are crossing Beaver Dam Creek. Got an early start. Walked out of the door at 6.45, but it's a 15-minute walk to uh, get to the trail. But we are on the trail. The trail goes through downtown Damascus on the sidewalk. So I thought I'd give you a little look at this section of downtown. This is where we've been hanging out and uh, recovering. Everybody's feeling good today, except for the fact that our packs weigh a ton. We got food for five days, four nights, and it's just loaded, loaded. They're feeling heavy. That building is the Damascus Trail Center, which is the ATC's building, post office behind it. This is Trail Town, USA. They have a lot of murals on buildings. Uh, as you can see, it's very cloudy. It rained pretty hard at times last night. It's spitting rain right now, but if it starts any harder, we're gonna stop and put the, put the coats on. We are a little bit about 10 days before trail days, which is a big celebration they have here that gets very, very crowded and a little bit crazy. We kind of want to, honestly, just wanted to skip the craziness of that. So we thought about coming back one, one year because it's a lot of uh, alumni come back. This is the outfitter where one more got her shoes. Now I got new shoes also. Trying to, I've been dealing with a hip issue, hadn't said much about it, but it hadn't been feeling good. So I got, uh, it's time to get new shoes anyway. So I got some ultras that have just a little bit more padding in them. And we'll see how that goes. They have a little walkway with where people bought bricks to commemorate trails, uh, finishing the AT, which is a very neat idea as a fundraiser. It's a beautiful little town. We talked to a bartender who was also the clerical person for the city and over trail days <laughs> Tuesday. She told us the town, it's about a population of about 700 and something. And there is Damascus Diner, one place you can count on a big meal. And we're just gonna go till we hit the woods. And we're now leaving out of Damascus. We'll do a quick check-in, hey pick. Let the car go by. How Morning. you doing today? Oh, good. Let's see that big bad pack. That's the new pack, right? Yeah, full of food. I need to eat some. It's too heavy. <laughs> too heavy. <laughs> There's one more. How's it going? Good. Heavy pack. Heavy yeah. pack. New shoes. <laughs> Feeling good? I am. All right. And, uh, Pick also decided to sport the same brand of shoes.
I have the Herman Munster version of Altras. We're going anywhere from 10 to 15 miles today. We don't know. We're just going to stroll. Starting early. And we're leaving the roadside and climbing up into the woods. Back to the trail. Okay, we're hour and 15 minutes in. Gone about one and two thirds miles, coming up on somewhere around there. Climb, 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 man. Steady climb. Weather was being cruel. We were in town, it started sprinkling, so I don't know if you remember, we were around Laurel Falls. We like, when it sprinkled, we we're like, nah, we're not gonna put our rain jacket on. Rain like crazy soaked us. So today it was like, nah, we ain't falling for that. Put the rain jacket on. Sprinkle stopped. And going uphill and just sweating a ton. So it's a it's humid. And we did at least 30 minutes of straight of nothing but uphill. So we're drenched in sweat. So the rain jackets are off. Rain covers are on the packs. But the nice thing is I got my Slim Jim hat back. And that's all that matters, really. <sighs> so, a beautiful day. Good to be back on the trail. Okay, so we are two hours, 15 minutes in and gone three and a quarter miles because it was a lot of uphill. We've climbed over a thousand feet up, gained a thousand feet in elevation. Kind of some steep parts and then when it got flat, it was rocky. So we kind of lost that Tennessee Turnpike feel to the trail that we had going into Damascus. Definitely not the same coming out, but I like the way this is starting. We just stopped for a uh, snack break. We stop every every hour for snacks and the half hours for water. Seems to work out okay. We're just gonna go and leisurely pace today and see how far we get. But I do wanna stop and note a couple of fashion choices. First of all, Pick is sporting the brand new pack. Turn around, Pick. Yes, that is a big mamma jamma, and he has the new shoes. And what brand are those? Topos. Topos, yeah. And it's showing that the cool kids all have topos. Look at that. How you going? And I'm going to turn this around real quick. Yes, you expect the hat? Short pants, yeah. <laughs> all right. I had to get special permission to wear these from one more in case there were any ladies on the trail that want to see my legs, you know, and you get all, all excited. Got a hot business. All right, celebration time. How far have we been? 200, 200. miles. 200 miles. 200 down. Woohoo! Nice. Put that in perspective when we used to live in Memphis. That's real close to walking all the way to see Nick and Molly. Wow. All right. Feeling good. Ten thirty going or eleven somewhere in there. Been hiking and we parallel the Virginia Creeper Trail. You can see the bridge, <laughs> and that is a rails to trails trail where they converted 
old railroad into a trail. It's very popular in Damascus for bike riding. Um, there's also people who will say if you're not a, you know, tied to being a purist on the AT that you can take the creeper trail out, has a little bit better scenery than the AT and they join up 14 miles up anyway. Uh, we're taking the AT route, but can uh, definitely see folks that take the other way. Relentless climb. One more is coming up. We're near the top. Just breaking where we can start to see some of the mountains. But it's approaching one. We haven't had lunch yet. We're trying to get to a shelter for lunch. Well, we got to the top of that massive climb. Wound up having lunch. We had peanut butter wraps. Not sure what Pick had. Um, really rough climb coming up. Uh, Pick was really hurting on his right side. He's at his hip and his knees. Basically, from his right hip on down. And he thinks he just has way too much weight in his pack with too much food. Uh, he was struggling getting up the mountain. <clears throat> we were going to stop at the shelter and eat. But found out the shelter was a quarter of a mile off the trail. So... We didn't want to do a quarter mile there, a quarter mile back, half mile of bonus hiking, <laughs> as tired as we were. So we found a log on the trail, sat down. We uh, had lunch. One more had a couple of hot spots on her foot we need to put tape on. <clears throat> so we got that taken care of. And we're now on a downhill to our our planned campsite, or at least where we're going to reevaluate, but probably be our stopping is 4.4 miles, mostly downhill. <clears throat> the other option is to go, I don't know, maybe uh, another uh, 2.6 to a shelter, which would cut off some of what we would have to do tomorrow, which would be a long day. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the problem is that's a lot of that 2.6, 2.5 is a climb. And I don't know if anybody's legs are doing that right now. It's already been nine miles, so it's going to be one of our longer days as is with climbs. But uh, making it, it's kind of a nice day so far. Rain this morning before we got up. Sprinkled on us a little bit in town, but it's been okay here. Making our way down to where we're camping and spring has sprung and today here's our first green tunnel experience. Rhododendrons left, right and overhead. Okay, it's just past four o'clock. We've been somewhere around 13.6 miles with another extra mile of bonus for just getting to the trail. We're pushing on to do another 1.4 to a tenting site to try to make tomorrow's a little less daunting. It would have been like almost 15 miles 
but we are on, we merge with the Virginia Creeper Trail, which is a rails to trails. It's a good bike trail here. And so now the AT and the Creeper are sharing for just a little bit. All right, still sharing the Virginia Creeper rails to trail trail <laughs> and going over what used to be a train bridge it's been converted now it's a really nice area down through here you see the water below They've done a very good job with this. It's a nice resource to have in this area. We're all getting pooped. <laughs> and we've got about 0.8 miles to go. Well, good evening. <laughs> I think I'm going to start just by saying, holy shit. <laughs> what a day. I mean, it was, uh, this was a hard, hard day, but, uh, monumental. We did one, we passed 200 miles. So we passed the 200 mile mark. Uh, so yay for us. And second, longest day that one more and I have done at, uh, 15 miles, we did 15 miles today. And it was coming out of, uh, Damascus so our packs were full with five days worth of food so the the packs were heavy uh, so it was it was it was a rough day there were a few things that got me through I don't even know if I got it right side up but yeah this and 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 one more and pick got me through <laughs> Go go one more. What what do you what do you got today? Um, well, actually, I was really happy with what I accomplished because it was the first day that I felt like I hiked what I could hike without my ankle killing me. So I was really happy with the hike. It was a long day. Uh, there were a lot more rocks than I anticipated. I felt like I was back in North Carolina or Tennessee. You know, everyone always goes, "Oh, when you get to Virginia, it's so much smoother." I call bullshit on that. So there was that. And then when Slim Jim flung his backpack over his head, his water bottle went flying and hit me in the face. So luckily, I don't think I'm going to have a black eye, but it, it stung and it startled me. So those yeah. were the two major obstacles I had today. Yeah, it was. That was an accident. <laughs> yeah. It was honestly, I was just innocently putting on my backpack and slung it around and the water bottle just happened to come off just and hit her long. yeah perfectly in the face full velocity yeah oh well well you know you're still beautiful <laughs> <laughs> pick is over there in that tent laying down he can hear and talk but i don't think you'd hear what he has to say you want me to interpret anything for you pick they tried to kill me he said they tried to kill me. <laughs> Pick probably had one of the harder days he's had because, uh, yep, yeah, he um, has, he swapped out packs and also he made an attempt to do some healthier food, I think. And uh, I think the his interpretation, not mine, is that it's just way too much weight from food. And is that fair, Pick? That is very fair. Yeah, so he was just, he's carrying a ton of weight. And we did about 3,000 feet of, well, we did over 3,000 feet of climbing. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, he, he had a rough time going, going up and especially going up the hill. So, but he made it. So we're, we're here. Um, so I guess that's, does that wrap it up? I think that wraps it up. I think that wraps it up, but we're, yeah, we're, we're alive and we're in, we're in Virginia and you know what? We're going to sleep well tonight. Definitely. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>